Hi, I'm Steve Maher, I'm the ergonomics guy, and a lot of people watch my videos to get information on how to set up their workstation, which is great. The problem is it's fairly generic because I show you how I set up my stuff, and it doesn't always apply to what you're doing. So what I'd like to do is go through a case study with you, show you an actual client of mine, and show you how I worked with her on the internet uh, with a web, web conference call to set up her workstation. So what I'll do is jump over to the screen capture software, post your picture, and walk you through what I found as the problems and what some possible solutions were. So let's jump over there and we'll see how I helped her. So this is the screen capture software and a client will send in a picture. And what, what I'll do is I'll spend some time interviewing them about what they do and how they do it and what their issues are to really hone in on what their their problems are so that we can we can work with their specific issues as opposed to saying, you know, just get this or that. So with this client, she was complaining about wrist and shoulder pain. And if you look at her, she's actually got pretty good posture. Her feet are on the floor. Her hips are a little bit above her knees. Um, she's And then her back is pretty straight. She's kind of falling back in the, in the chair just a little bit. You can see how the backrest is coming this way, and that causes her to fall back. And as she falls back this way, uh, she tends to then reach forward. So her shoulders are coming out and, and down and up, or just out. And then she's putting a lot more pressure on her wrists right here. So she called because she was having trouble. She was having pain in her neck and in her wrists. And so the issue is that the chair isn't set up correctly. And fortunately, she has a really nice chair, so we can work with her on how to set this up correctly. The other issue is that the keyboard is too low. So she's actually reaching down and out. And so because she's falling down in the, her back in the chair, she has to reach further out with her shoulders, which is going to put stress on her neck muscles all up in here. It's going to put her shoulder in a forward position that can potentially impinge the joint a little bit. She's then reaching forward with her wrists, uh, and that straightens out the elbow, which is okay. Uh, but what happens is she tends to put a lot more pressure right there on the wrist. And that's an issue because that is your carpal tunnel. That piece of your wrist is your carpal tunnel. And you have a nerve on the thumb side that goes to the thumb and first two fingers. And on the pinky side that goes to the little finger um, and the ring finger. And so what she was experiencing was a lot of neck pain here and wrist pain here. And the way that we fixed it was the first thing we did is we set up her chair and the only adjustment we really made is we had her take her backrest here and we had her raise it up just a little bit to actually give her a little bit more lumbar support and then bring it forward so that she could actually sit up straight. And by bringing her shoulders forward, she could sit in this position so that she didn't have to reach as far and she was more balanced when she was sitting. So she wasn't falling back and that took a whole lot of pressure off of her shoulders here. The next thing we did is we raised the keyboard. And the problem with this keyboard, and a lot of keyboards are like this, they come as part of the desk and they slide in and out, but they don't come up and down and they don't tilt. So if they're at the wrong position, you can't easily adjust them. So what we did since this is her home office is I had her get a couple reams of paper and she put them under here. And a ream of paper is about two inches thick. And so what that did is it brought the keyboard and mouse up closer to elbow level so that she could slide in um, and work with the keyboard and mouse at, the, at elbow level so she wasn't reaching down and out so much. Um, and then the other thing is since she was sitting a little bit higher, her eyes then were a little bit higher and she was starting to look down at the monitor. So we had her get another ream of paper because this monitor doesn't move up and down and put it under here and bring the whole monitor up just a little bit so that she was looking more directly at it, which I realize is kind of hard to see. But the idea is you start at the base, set the chair, bring the keyboard up to you, then bring the monitor up to you. So uh, then what we did is we just made some longer term recommendations for her. We advised her to get a keyboard tray that would sit right here. And then it does move up and down. <laughs> Sorry about the arrow. But we can bring that up and down and we can change the angles to keep her wrists in a more neutral posture. So um, what we did is we really told her, we, we taught her how to use the equipment she already has. To, to work in a more functional position. And then we recommended a quick fix 
uh, that she could do with reams of paper right now to stop hurting. And then we made some longer term recommendations uh, as far as getting a keyboard tray uh, to, to work with further down the road. And then maybe a document holder, maybe a um, uh, adjustable height arm if needed, or maybe just uh, some, some uh, monitor risers to bring the monitor up to eye level. So you can see with a picture, I can give some really specific information on what you might need, and then we can help you choose the right piece of equipment based on your budget and your need so that you're not going to go out and spend a ton of money to get something that isn't really going to work with you. So, um, so that is how the screen capture works. So thanks for watching the video and seeing how I helped her set up her workstation so she could be more comfortable. If you have issues with your workstation and would like to do a case study that I could post on YouTube, please send me your picture and I'd be happy to go through these steps. Or if you need more specific information and have a problem that you need solved, feel free to call me. I'll put my link down below in the description um, and we can set up an online conference where we can actually delve into your issues and set up your workstation to be as comfortable and productive as possible. Thank you very much.